Tokoroa, home to good vibrations. Wholesome. And great food. What are the best things about this town? Probably Maccas. What's good about the Maccas? The pickles. And home to a children's playground. Not? The Tokoroa community was shocked last year when someone stole Lake Moana Nui's playground. The thieves have never been caught. The playground has never been found. Months later, a second playground at the Scout Hall has disappeared. Two stolen playgrounds in one year. I was headed to Tokoroa. Not. Actually, I was. That was just a prank. First stop, local child victim, Miles Fayer, who reported the Scout Hall playground missing just last week. So where did this all begin? Uh, I was just walking home from school one day and uh, the playground up the road had just disappeared. I wasn't there anymore. The playground is gone? It just vanished. Do you have any idea where it is? Nobody knows. That's weird. It's a bit mysterious. And this is not the first time this has happened, is it? No, the playground down at the lake, uh, they stole some swings and a, one of those rocky, er, er, ducky thing. Ducky thing? Yeah. It was a sickening tragedy. Without playgrounds, kids might be forced to turn to drugs, TikTok, or ADD. When Cat Stevens says, where do the children play? Who? Cat Stevens. Who's that? He was a musician from the 1970s. Half Cat, half Stevens. Well, who's Stevens? Half of him. Well, how's he half Cat? I don't know. There's a lot of drugs going on in the 70s, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. He had a song called, where do the children play? There's nowhere for the children to play. No. And that's your playground that was special in your heart. Don't touch me. Sorry. This is pretty sad, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You gonna cry? Nah, I'm not gonna cry. Look, kid, my story would be a lot better if you were just like, crying about your playground being stolen. I can't cry. You try is your it, best. It's really not that sad. Try your best. What's the onion for? I was just gonna cut it to make you cry. I, I can just eat it and I'll probably cry. Okay, let's try that then. Oh, I'm not quite off of growth. Oh, there it is. Oh. Tastes like a spicy apple. It, it does, eh? Miles was distraught, but he bravely took me to the scene of the crime. It's all gone. It's concrete. Nothing more, nothing less. And the second time in a year, yeah. a playground in Tokoroa has disappeared. Yep. Miles, I'm so sorry this has happened to you, and I promise I'm going to do everything I can to get it back. OK. We shouldn't stand for this. Do you want to sit? No, I don't want to sit. I want, I'm saying more of like a metaphor, like we should, we should put oh, our foot down. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I promised Miles that I'd get his playground back, but without any leads, I appealed to the public for help. G'day. I'm Guy Williams, and this is Little Miles. Not that little. All right, sorry. And this is young Miles. Not that young. I'm 16. What's a 16 year old doing on a playground? Like, is that. Drink alcohol. Drink. <laughs> and this is big old Miles. That's a bit rude. And this lad right here. His name is Miles. That's one of the shittest accents I've ever heard. Hi, I'm Miles, and this is Guy. Wait, what the fuck? A mysterious playground has mysteriously no, this is, wait, this is the wrong no. way around. No, it's not. Shush. This is Miles. He needs a fucking playground. We're in Tokoroa. If you have any information, call this number now. Well, hang on. Why does the number say little Miles? It's because you're cute little Miles. I'm not, I'm not little. You're cute. I'm not. I've got to stop calling kids cute, what? eh? This is Miles. Why are you doing white face? It's not white face, it's sunscreen. I gotta protect you from the sun. You meant to rub it in. I'm proud of being white, I wanna be extra white. Just, just rub it in. White pride, okay, cut. Now for the natural next step of the outreach campaign, harassing people on the street. Have you heard about a playground that was stolen here in Tokoro? Yeah, by the link, sorry. Yeah. You know about it? Yeah, nah. A playground was stolen here in Tokoro. Who the fuck did that? How do you steal land? Through the New Zealand company and the, um, and the yeah, land courts. I mean... Can you guess why someone would want to steal a playground? They must be on drugs or something. Who would steal a playground? No, no, no. Forget about him. You're doing an interview. Focus yeah. on this. I didn't steal a playground. No, I didn't say you stole a playground. <laughs> Before we start, i got to ask you what's going on with your beard. Oh, <laughs> you know. I'm going bald under here, mate. I've got a bit of it? alopecia. OK, so the solution was to shave half One your beard side, off. yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Caesar. Caesar? What's your name? LeBron. Are you named after the basketball player? 
Yeah, you named after the guy. Yeah, yeah I'm named after the guy. That's damn straight. You said the playground's been stolen? No. You wait, in my story, you're supposed to be the victim. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I am sad. That's better, that's better. There's been a playground stolen in Tokoroa. Bullshit. I swear to you, someone cut the springs off and just took the fucking playground. Uh, have you heard of the Tokoroa stolen playgrounds? No. Have you heard of our low, low prices on outdoor furniture? Why would drugs make you want to steal a playground? So you require some more drugs. Who would steal a playground? I don't know, you follow the sound. <laughs> The locals were outraged, and two theories of what might have happened gradually emerged. Maybe we should hit the gangs up. Yeah, now go out to the local headhunters, they'll know. Bunch of good fellas, these fucking headhunters. Yeah. The fact they've got the name headhunters makes me feel like they're not good fellas. I've got to ask about a playground that might have been stolen in Tokoroa. Yes, yes, well, that's news to me, but I would know. <laughs> Are you suggesting that you may be associated with crime occasionally? <laughs> Where would a playground be if it was stolen? Oh, uh, probably in your backyard. <laughs> I hate to bring it up, but I also notice you've got um, a swastika tattoo. Yeah, yeah, swastika, yeah. Why swastika? I don't know, I've just always liked them. The Nazis? Yeah. Are you a white supremacist? Oh, you could say that. Are you actually? You could say that. Wait, what the f what the fuck? <laughs> Lance? Forget the story. The story is now try and make Lance less of a dick. you got to not be a white supremacist. Oh, I don't know. Especially when your friends are brown. <laughs> Do you like that he's a Nazi? Yeah, yeah, he's brown. Yes. There's nothing supreme about a white supremacist. You're like, brown people are holding us back. Do you know what's holding you back, mate? <laughs> Fucking visible swastikas. <laughs> As a gang member, you're so jolly. Oh, well, it's all about uh, positivity. OK, so first rule of being in a gang, bit of positivity. Mm. Yes. What's the second rule of being in a gang? No raping or pillaging. OK. <laughs> so you're suggesting that I rob a trap house? Yeah, fucking no. I'll come with you. I don't feel confident about me and you going and robbing a trap house today. Oh, chicken. Call me a chicken. <laughs> Call me a chicken. I don't want to rob a gang house. They'll be out robbing everyone anyway. It's your best chance. The gang theory was plausible, but also scary. So I turned to a second, less scary explanation. Either that or it's someone from out of town. OK. Taking a souvenir with them. I think Tito stole the playground. Tito stole the playground. Tito, world famous for their beautiful corrugated iron animal buildings, are Tokoroa's next door neighbours and bitter rivals. Locals suspect that Tito might have had something to do with their playground's disappearance. They think they're cool in Tito, don't they? Yeah, because they got the sheep in there. They think they're hot shit because they got the sheep. Yeah, and the dog. Arrogant fucking yeah, Tito, But eh? their pies and their food are expensive. Do you reckon I can find a stolen playground, Tito? Probably not, no. Tito, you give our playground back, or else we're going to give you a twack. What's the fuck's a twack? And they slap around. Okay, okay. <laughs> Lance, thank you so much for your wisdom and advice. I appreciate it. All good. Can I ask one thing of you as well? Yep. Can you maybe cut back on the white supremacy? I could do that for you, guy. I might have to get some cover-up, see? I was lost. I'd wasted almost an entire day in Tokoroa, mainly trying to convince Lance not to be a Nazi. My name's Lance, and I'm going to try and be less of a white supremacist. Good on you, Lance. <laughs> and I was no closer to getting Miles's playground back. Where the fuck the playground go? Where the fuck the playground go? Where the fuck? Where the? It was time to try Plan B. Go to Tiro and steal their playground. It's not a bad idea. But it's a big job, and I needed a crew in peak physical condition. And after several productive hours scrolling through bodybuilding hashtags on Tokoroa Instagram, I found the perfect specimen, Nathan Robinson, winner of Mr. Teenage Physique 2020. G'day. I hear that Mr. Teen Physique 2020 works out here. That's me. Is that you? Yeah, man. Prove it. All right, you're in. And you? What the fuck do you do? Fake. <laughs> That's pretty good. You're in too. And for what? There's no time to explain. Let's go. With the muscle boys on my team, I was ready to steal Tokoroa, a new playground. And there was only one place to steal it from. All right, here we are, boys. Tito. Gonna find ourselves a playground. <laughs> That sounded bad, but I mean like, <laughs> I mean like... And a, and, a, and a white van as well. Yeah, okay, well it's not... <laughs> okay, the colour of the van's not important. We're looking for a playground to steal for Tokoroa. It smells like there's going to be a playground around here somewhere. Yeah, there's a school here, let's go take their playground. Okay. Yeah. Monkey bars, it's not too bad. Oh fuck, someone's looking, someone's looking, someone's looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check this out. Look at that. Hey, hey mate, let's take that. Check that out, boys. <laughs> Perfect. Fuck you. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This belly has got no eye holes. Those are your undies, mate. Why are you wearing a belly clover in broad daylight? 
if anything, the balaclava is drawing more attention to you. Okay, for a start, it's a balaclava, not a balaclava. Well, why are you wearing it? It's pointless. <laughs> to hide my identity. <laughs> We're just sitting here on the side of the road. I'm not doing anything suspect, except for sitting here in a white van with someone with a balaclava on the head. It's a balaclava, not a balaclava. <laughs> right. I agree to disagree, don't worry about it. No, I've just got to wait till it gets dark and be stealth. If you wanted to be stealth, you should have took the logo off the side of the van, mate. After finding the perfect target, all we had to do was wait for the cover of darkness. You guys ready to do this? Fuck yeah, I'm keen as mustard. I'm hyped up to take shit. What? You're hyped up to take a shit? To take the <laughs> playground, mate. Oh, I think you're saying you're hyped up to take a shit. Yeah, when I get home. OK. <laughs> Let's do this. It's go time. All right, here we go. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Warning, some of the following scenes were filmed using Paris Hilton sex tape technology. Oh, I'm getting powered I got it, I got it. Good hustle, guys, good hustle. Lost my beanie, don't worry about it. No, we'll watch out with that thing, eh? <laughs> what are you doing, muscle boys? <laughs> Fuck you, Tito. Fuck you, Tito. Stole some shit, we're fucking out of here. <laughs> the plan went perfectly, and we returned to Tokoroa with a sack full of presents. I couldn't wait to show Miles what was waiting under the tree. Well, Miles? We've got a surprise that I think it's going to make you pretty happy. Check that out. Wow. Oh. You think you're going to cry? Do you have any onions I can eat? I don't have any onions you can eat. Oh, no. But I do say this. You're welcome, mate. Thanks. My job here was done. And it was time to tackle my next case, the mystery of the Tito Stolen Playground. Not. I think that man just called me a homo.